G'day guys, now we're going to have a look at international trade, how it affects market equilibrium and surplus, and how the government can respond to it. So if we assume that there is no international trade, there's just domestic producers and consumers, we get a market equilibrium looking something like this, and we have an efficient amount of surplus. Now imagine, however, that international trade is possible, and so there is a global market price represented here. This is the price to purchase goods if you import them. So what would be the effect of this? Well, obviously consumers are going to buy at the lowest price available to them, which means that all consumers will now demand this price or else they're not going to buy the goods. So surplus with free international trade looks something like this. You now have two different quantities. This is the quantity being produced and sold domestically. And this is the quantity being bought domestically from both imports and from domestic production. This ultimately represents an increase in the total surplus. If you compare this to this, this entire triangle here was not there before. Now we have gained that from allowing free international trade. So free trade does actually increase surplus and ultimately it is economically efficient.